Power Girl, issue 14, Leah Williams writing with Adriana Milo on the art. I gotta take a break here. Matt, discuss yes. it. <laughs> All right, so this picks up off of... Here's 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 I, I I'm I'm enjoying Leah Williams. I think she's having a lot of fun with the characters. The jumping around from issue to issue, I thought might have been a problem with constantly having to tie into stuff. And I think this is just Leah Williams' style at this point. Because the last issue, which I did talk about, because I didn't read it in time, uh, it jumped back from Valhalla to Omen and what Omen's been up to while Paige has been gone, and that essentially she's not feeling right psychically. And so she ends up going out with Natasha Irons and they end up running into this like super influencer named Ejecta and Ejecta comes right at Omen in that issue. And it's like, you're everything that's wrong. You're, you know, tapping into the wrong powers. I have to stop you. It's my duty as a hero. They end up fighting at this dance club. Uh, Omen just gets the ever loving piss beat out of her. Um, and essentially goes to lick her wounds and leave. And that's where Power Girl shows up at the end to kind of let her know you're not always by yourself. Um, and then we get away. I thought like, oh, well, we'll be returning to Valhalla because we were doing a lot of that fun, you know, the the vault of all the mythological things, which I think might tie back in in a few. But um, it, it starts with Ejecta making friends with this other influencer. And uh, there's a lot of talk from Omen about how the thing with Ejecta is her power seems to coming from these upgrades and a little bit of magic, but it's more these upgrades. And she has like these big. Um, so what Ejecta looks like is kind of like Silver Banshee. She's very pale, but she has this curly, bushy hair. But then from everything else, uh, like almost like. Her arms and legs are in these like suits of armor almost. Um, and she has like a collar around her neck and that's where they're seemingly like all this power is coming from. Um, so Paige starts talking to, to Natasha about this stuff about, you know, cause Omen won't come out of the house now. It's been like a month and she's uh, essentially locked herself in cause she doesn't want to deal with this. Um, another, another thing that they, they, they call the, all the fans, of Ejecta, because she's an influencer, called themselves Edge Lords, so EG Lords, which I thought was kind of funny. Um, I'm seeing that she they're building her as the villain. Um, and yeah, and just that she's kind of become this internet celebrity, and people seem to like her, even though she hurt Omen. And Power Girl's not gonna let that stand. So she ends up going back to the Daily Planet and talking with um oh, what's her name? Uh Mariposa, who another she's another character that showed up in that action comics back up. She was the one that got put onto Clark's beat because she was such a good reporter that Lois was like, you know what? You earned it. And she took Clark off of it because he was, you know, again, had, couldn't, couldn't have the power to be, uh, uh, subjective. Um, so she's like, Hey, I need you to find out stuff about this ejected character. You're kind of like the best reporter I know outside of Lois. Lois is busy. Um, and of course they, they note some of the, you know, editorial things about Supergirl being out of town because of her mission and in the backup, and then uh, Lois being Superwoman. Um, and yeah, so the Natasha and and Power Girl uh, go with Axel, who's now dating uh, Power Girl. He was the the guy from Valhalla. Um, they go to see her, and they bring her food, and uh, she's talking to Streaky, and she's like, "Hey, you know." Um, if, if I ever go off the rails, if my powers ever go, I need someone to stop me. Streaky, can you do that? And there's this fun piece of art where she looks into Streaky's mind and there's just like a cartoon version of, of Omen with X'd out eyes. And she goes, you know, th the thing is, if I go off the rails, do you understand? And she looks back at Streaky and he still has the same thing going on. Or real funny. Um, but yeah, they... Um, she ends up feeling like a little bit lonely now that Paige is dating this Axel guy and, you know, cause she's holed up with, with an arm. She's no good to anybody. Uh, and her friends are here to tell her that, no, that's not true. Um, so Mariposa ends up uh, coming to talk to power girl and in order for them to fully gain her trust so that they can get the stuff out about ejecta Paige shows Mariposa that she is power girl. Um, and she's like, look, you're trusted. This is what we need to do. You're in this inner circle now. Um, and, and yeah, so 
they say that eject is not actually predicting the future because that's another thing that i skipped over that i forgot from the last issue um is that uh, like omen she has a power to predict things but what mariposa find out it's not the same magic way that uh, omen does it's in the kind of ai way so she's not always right but because of these enhancements that she has that makes her popular with everybody because that's another part of the undercurrent is she's had work done you know they kind of laugh and say that she's not 100 percent that way um that it, it's you know um the the ai is what's giving her the the pardon the, the pun the edge over uh some of these other influencers and so uh, essentially power girl and the crew so uh omen and natasha essentially go out trying to provoke ejecta so power girl goes out and writes like ejecta sucks on uh with her heat vision and that brings her there and they end up having a fight and in this fight omen tries to get in ejecta's head to try to figure out what's been going on and there's this little like girl version of her without all the enhancements who says hey that's nice of you to come here, but this was a trap. And Omen is like, wait, what do you mean it's a trap? And she goes, oh, no, it's not a trap for Power Girl. It's for you. And and the little girl version of Ejecta's eyes go black. And Omen gets knocked out of the fight, like completely taken away. And uh, Ejecta's like, well, that's enough for me. And she disengages from Power Girl and takes off. And she materializes in this place that looks like a techno hell, for lack of a better term um everything's kind of cybernetic but there's lava coming down and ejecta's like oh hey pops job's done i got that psychic uh ginger you know she's out of things so power girl's all yours for the taking and it ends up being the the um like that that synthesoid robot from way back in the first arc that took the form of that kryptonian lion that it's out trying to, you know, get rid of Power Girl. So this is all part of this big gigantic lion's plan. Um, and if if the story was more straightforward and there was, you know, instead of just dropping new characters, I think it'd be a lot more enjoyable. Because uh, the banter and stuff is all there. I love hanging out with this group. And the art here, um, everyone looks great. Like the, the way that the, the action sequences go, everything flows well. The page where Omen gets into Ejecta's head, everything has this green tinge, and just the way that the art all flows from Mello is fantastic. I just, the story just keeps jumping around and is driving me up the wall. Because again, I read the last issue like last week because I was going to get caught up and I couldn't remember exactly what had happened to lead up to this. Um, because of of where it's coming from and where we're picking up in the story where we spend a whole issue in Asgard and Valhalla and then we're just not going back to any of that and almost felt like that was just almost like a placeholder in a weird way so art fantastic story not as much so I'm going to give this a 5.5 oofed and this is like probably be my last issue <laughs> like not, uh, not not to uh Yes. ruin the illusion that I'm listening to anything you say when you're talking of about course. Power Girl. But <laughs> I, was not, I was not paying attention at all and I just heard a 5.5 and went, yep. whoa? Gotcha. 5.5? Yeah. All right. Rough okay. times. Okay. Uh, fair enough.